Well, I did figure I would grab a couple of the hockey boxes. I did that video with the basketball ones, but I only bought two of these. Not because there wasn't any more, there was actually four, but because I am not a big hockey fan. So I don't know near as much, if much at all, um, on hockey, but if you're gonna do the video, so that way people can see what's inside the boxes. So yeah, same thing on the other ones. <clears throat> Again, the only reason I pointed this out was because people could essentially switch the packs if they wanted to. So I'm assuming that we're going to have a bunch of this year packs. Because what I notice whenever I'm at the store is uh, most of these packs are already, you can get blaster boxes for like 18 bucks compared to the other sports. And so, 2022. Oh, and there's actually some loose cards in here. Interesting. I mean, I wasn't expecting that. But at the same time, you know, they're not sleeved up or anything. So that's that rookie class red. Interesting. So a couple loose cards. It just says bonus item, so apparently that was the bonus item. Interesting. So unlike basketball, these are all fairly recent and nothing too crazy. Um, and I want to go through and see if we did get any young guns. I'll go through them fairly quick so we get to the other box. Our young gun. I, I'm a Minnesota guy. I will hang on to that one, put that aside. But yeah, so we did get our young gun. It's funny as I have, I mean, I've bought and opened some hockey, but um, the people I do that do open more hockey. I mean, they pretty much said, too, that uh, Young Guns is the, it's kind of like the prism of a lot of other sports for rookie cards. It's the one that a lot of people look for, and that's pretty much, I shouldn't say pretty much it, but pretty much. Oh, nice little dunk in the background. Just going to stack these up. Holographics. Interesting enough, it is the same as our rookie. So we'll slave that one up. So there's your preview of those. Interesting. So I, don't, yeah, I mean, I don't mind that. Well, obviously, it'd be. Technically, rookies coming from these. So these, I would imagine, maybe retail packs. They don't list it like uh, some of the other sports. So checklist, canvas. So we'll just stack these up. Key rookies. Well, so we can kind of look at the back. So plenty of options to hit. At least they still list their odds. We got another young guns. Let's say we're not doing too bad then. I was hoping to be like the other sports, you know, have some 2020, 2021, different years, honor roll. And I actually happened to grab the other one because it was the one box that had the different pack in the front. Exact same card. It's not as fun. 
And our MVP pack. Our odd pack out of the bunch. Wheeler. There's our rookies. I mean, this wasn't Ice Battles. Or the orange, but... There's another rookie. So yeah, so we got our two bonus cards. Um, and then our two young guns. So pretty happy with those. Got myself a covers off. So, and then our rookies and other inserts in there too. So interesting with the two bonus cards to start. Let's open up this other box and see what the, kind of the main difference is. Again, I've just been opening from the bottom. Easier to kind of break down, smash them. So, so again, this time we have our 2022-23. And that's what all the packs are going to be. So I would imagine whatever pack is in the front, it looks like you're going to get four other packs of that. 21-22 kind of crispy in there it felt like our MVP it looks like some more loose cards again yep it's time to lose cards that's so interesting more glossy rookies that is just an inter interesting concept so well there it is that's kind of what you can expect I can't imagine there will be many more surprises than that Kind of a cool picture though. Knock the box over. Hopefully not confusing anybody with the ups upside down box. Just gonna separate those two. Rookie Retrospective. All right, one decent. We'll see, and again, the odds are typically on the back. Are they hiding? Uh, apparently, they're not on there. They're, they're moving on to the new age where nobody's putting them on there. Guns. Well, that looks like it's kind of an in interesting freestyles. Cool card there, but again, it's weird that they don't have the, uh, the odds on there. I mean, does that mean they're out of a? I mean, even the retail retail boxes usually have them. Because we're twenty two, twenty three. Yeah, so I can't even check on what uh, what these are for odds and hits. Man, that's such a weird thing with hockey. They've always had that. UD portraits. Well, that's a sharp card. So we're definitely going to have to get on and uh, I'm going to have to pull up what these uh, odds are to get these cards. I mean, is it like an insert per pack? I mean, it's almost looking that way. But usually that would still mean that... Uh, some of these are going to have a little bit more rarity than others. I'll do the extended series first. Does that mean there's going to be a young gun in there? It's kind of weird to see that in the front of the pack, isn't it? Reflections.
Like I said, I've put almost all, all these inserts in at least a sleeve right away. Young Gun. Throw that one to the side. So three young guns. Better than others, but come on. Last pack. So there you kind of have it. Pretty much all upper deck variations. That's old school, old signature. This would be like the orange, the ice battles, I'm guessing it's one in every pack, um, except uh, no rookie in this pack. So that replaced our, or, or no, maybe didn't replace the rookie, but there it is. <laughs> There's your two boxes of hockey. Uh, that probably could have been way quicker, but hey, now you see what packs you're going to expect, which probably isn't a surprise.